You clicked on this video because you want to find out what roofing nail is right for your home. Let's get started. Okay, so I know that safety and sometimes subjects about construction be a little boring. So I've got you guys some very nice eye candy. So what I expect is you to watch the video all the way through because when you do, it helps us make a little bit more money with the channel and I can actually afford to have girls like this in the video. So if you watch it all the way up, it helps our retention rate, which means our, sh our videos get shown more often. Now, I would really appreciate if you did that. So, a little bit about myself. My name is Zach Blankensop. I'm the owner of a company called Digital Roofing Innovations. I'm a licensed general contractor and roofing contractor in over nine states. I'm also a U.S. military veteran. Let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about the summary of the video, why Angie's out doing her thing, as you can see. Uh, so, again, what nail is right for your roof? So, we're going to go over the ultimate guide of roofing nails. We're going to talk about copper nails, stainless steel roofing nails, aluminum roofing nails, and then galvanized roofing nails. Then we're gonna talk about nail shank types such as smooth shank, spiral shank. We're talking about the size of nails. And then lastly, we're gonna talk about felt nails, steel cap nails, and button caps. It's all the same name, but we're gonna talk about exactly what they're used for. Roofing nails, also known as roof fasteners, are used to fasten roofing material to the roofing felt and the deck of the structure. Choosing the right nail for your new roof installation is not as easy as it might seem. They come in various types and sizes and your selection will ultimately depend on the project. Budget, salt exposure, life expectancy of the roof, etc. Some roofing nails last a lifetime while others, well, they have a 20 to 50 year lifespan. Let's go over the various types of nails that you should use and when you should use them. So first is roofing copper nails. Roofing copper nails are the most expensive option by far, but they will last a lifetime. Due to their costs, we do not recommend using them for your typical asphalt shingle roof application or any type of roof that's gonna last less than 30 years. Copper nails are best used when you are installing a lifetime roofing project, product such as clay, like our Spanish clay, uh, slate, tile, or any type of copper roof. That's when you wanna use copper nails. Okay, next are stainless steel roofing nails. Now this is the best nail to choose if you're installing a wood shake or a wood shingle roof, stainless steel nails withstand all mineral reactions from the wood itself and also the lead in the rainwater. They're also available in various grades. Now this is very important. So number one, the lowest quality is just stainless steel nails from Home Depot or Lowe's. These are the bottom of the barrel in terms of quality. We only recommend them for indoor use or somewhere that the nail is not exposed to the elements. Type 304 stainless steel nails. Now these are the middle of the road and also only recommended for indoor use. They are rust resistant, but not rust proof. Now the type 316 stainless steel nails. These are what you should be using on any new roof build involving exterior wood products. 316 nails have elements of nickel, polymer, and chromium, which prevent them from rusting. The composition is so high grade that you can use the nails in the ocean and they still won't rust. It's just that incredible. So again, if you are gonna be doing a roofing project and you are gonna be using stainless steel nails, particularly with any type of wood product, please, please, please purchase the 316 stainless steel nails. All right, next is aluminum roofing nails. Now the benefit of aluminum, it will not chemically react with a cedar shake, shingle, or any type of wood shingles. Now, wood roofs and aluminum roofs are probably the only time that you're gonna use an aluminum roofing nail. So any other application, just you're just not gonna use it. Now, probably the most common that you've heard is galvanized roofing nails. Now, galvanized roofing nails should be the standard choice for most everyone reading this article. It is what we recommend using for all asphalt shingle roofs. The others are just, they're not applicable. You don't need them. Galvanized roofing nails is what you need for asphalt shingle roofing. Galvani galvanization is the most widely used method of protecting metal from corrosion. Zinc coating is applied to the base metal, usually steel, to protect them from the elements. It's the most cost-effective alternative to the superior stainless steel or copper options. And there's really two different options of galvanized nails to choose from. You're gonna have hot dip galvanized. Now these are like steel nails that have been dipped in molten like pool of zinc. This is usually the most cost-effective me method of galvanization. Now you also have electro galvanized nails. Now these roofing nails receive their zinc coating through an electrical 
current solution which attaches zinc ions to the base metal. Both work really well. Uh, some people like the electro galvanized more than the hot dip galvanized, but again, if with the asphalt shingle roof, as long as you buy a high quality galvanized roofing nail, you are good to go. All right, so let's talk about nail shank types. Now you have a few different shank types. The first one is gonna be a smooth shank nail without any ridges on its shake. It's the easiest to install and drive into a roof. However, it's also the easiest nail to pull back out of your roof, which isn't good. Now you have the spiral shank nail next. As its name applies, this is a shank nail that has a spiral thread and is able to spin and lock during installation, thereby increasing the withdrawal capacity or it's harder to pull out. These nails are designed to drop easier into harder materials while also providing a better withdrawal resistance than a smooth shank. The final shank nail that you're gonna see is the annular ring shank nail. This nail is composed of many rings. Together, these rings create an intricate interlocking system, we'll call it that, which gives the nail one of the best withdrawal resistances. So again, this nail is gonna be much better than a smooth shank in terms of not being able to be withdrawn easily or pulled off. Okay, next we're gonna talk about the size of the nails. Now guys, size is important. If you don't believe me, just ask Angie. Another important factor to consider is the length of the nail shank. Most applications require a length between one to two inches, or if you're using the metric system, two to five centimeters, but the length usually depends on the material you're installing and the width of your roofing deck. 90% of the people watching this video are likely to install an asphalt shingle roofing system and will want to use one inch nails. Wood roofing systems are thicker and require longer nails. To determine the, the correct length, we suggest measuring the width of your roofing deck and reviewing the manufacturer's instructions for the roofing material you're using. Any type of roofing material you'll buy, it's going to have uh, not only just great installation instructions and what they're going to warranty, it's every single one of them is going to have uh, an exact guide on how to fasten that system to the roof deck. So make sure you're reading that to make sure you're using the right nails for the right application. Okay, last we're gonna talk about felt nails, steel cap nails, and button cap nails. Now they're all basically the same thing. We use button caps, the plastic most of the time, but these nails have many different names depending on where you live, but they all serve the same purpose to attach the roofing felt to the deck. Almost all these nails are composed of electro galvanized steel. However, material is not super important because of the nail will not be exposed to the element. So when you have your roof deck, you're almost always gonna put down some type of underlayment or like we like to say felt or tar paper. So you're gonna have that underneath uh, your roofing material and then above your deck. And you're gonna saw that felt with these type of nails. Again, we call them button cap, but some people call them steel cap nails or felt nails. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching the video. We really appreciate it. Guys, if you enjoy the girls or you enjoy our content, please give the channel a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel a lot. If you haven't subscribed to Digital Roofing Innovations and you like our content, please click the red subscribe button below. And always at Digital Roofing Innovations, we believe in using a modern approach with traditional values.